look what I just got in the mail. I got a new product from Urban Decay. Um, this is called their Full Spectrum Palette. It looks just like this. And oh my god, I can't wait to tell you guys so much about it. So if you guys want to see this, then stay tuned. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tinu, and today we're going to be talking about um, an awesome new product that's going to be launching soon, very, very soon, this month of October. Urban Decay has released a new palette. It's called the Full Spectrum Palette. It looks just like this, very, very pretty. And the box packaging is so cute. has basically almost all the colors on it. And basically when you turn the back, it tells you the colors and it just tells you about the palette itself. And then as well, all the information about it, the weight and how much each eyeshadow is is at the bottom right here so I just actually got this in the mail and I was so excited I had to film it today because this pack will be launching in October 26 but if you are an Urban Decay junkie or a beauty junkie you have an access to get this pack right now on the website and it's $55 so it's kind of on par with the last launch of the Urban Decay Spectrum palette so this is the full spectrum and the other one was just the spectrum so I'm gonna bring that and show you guys so you guys can kind of see the whole deal between the two palettes this is the old one that came out last year this one is just in like a regular black packaging and then all the shadows are like this so these are more jewel toned eyeshadows and the Urban Decay uh, full spectrum one is like 21 eyeshadows and it's more of colorful eyeshadows. And the cool thing about this one, they kind of stepped up the packaging from the last year's one and they made it like this. So it is an attached like cover and it actually sits. So when you're doing your makeup, you can just have it laying like this and you can just do your makeup on the go and it's a really really big nice decent sized mirror so I really really appreciate that I want to actually look at the net weight of this to kind of see if we were getting more uh, product so this one is 1.3 grams per each eyeshadow so there's 15 eyeshadows here that's roughly like 45 grams and I actually calculated the one for this palette, this one is 46.2 grams. So the price point is actually on par with the last year's uh, launch. So the last year's launch actually retailed for $55 as well. But the problem is that you're getting more eyeshadows because it's in each eyeshadow you're getting more grams because it's 15 eyeshadows versus um, 21 in this one. I will give you the breakdown. So each eyeshadow in this actual palette is 1.2 grams and the net palette weight as I said is 46.2 grams the price per shadow is 2.61 dollars so it's two dollars and 61 cents the price per gram is one dollars and 19 cents so basically it's a really good deal so you're just getting 0.04 ounces in each eyeshadow that's the only difference versus 0.05 in this one so I'm gonna go through each of the colors and I will be showing you on the screen letting you see the swatches with my fingers I also I'm gonna do a brush swatch and I'm gonna be naming out the colors going that way and going that way so each row and I'll let you know what I think about each shade. so right now the first color right here as you guys can see is called alchemy alchemy me is basically a burgundy satin with a slight sheen and it's semi opaque from the swatch it's not really that opaque then the next shade beside it is called warning it's an orange shimmer copper shade it's really pigmented I actually really really do love it. the next shade beside that is called midnight midnight blaze it's a dark olive green with gold glitter and it's really really patchy and really sheer doesn't really show up with a brush or with a finger swatch the next color is called hundred it is a forest green shimmer shadow and this shadow is actually pretty good it's pretty pretty, pretty opaque um, I feel it goes on better with the when you put it on the lid than on the actual uh, swatch on the hand. 
The next shade beside that is called Minx. It's a dark blue shimmer with light blue glitter. This one is actually one of my absolute favorite stunning shades. I will be showing you where I put that on my lid. I actually used that today on my eyeshadow lid. The next shade right here is called Delirious. It's a dark purple matte shade and it's pretty opaque for a purple because I know purple is one of those shades that is really, really hard to actually create. The last shade on this row is called Platonic. Catonic is a dark shimmer gray with silver glitter and it is semi-opaque. It's not as opaque as some of the shadows that I said that were opaque. Now we're going to start with the second row and we have Gossip. Gossip is a hot pink shimmer with silver sparkles and it's pretty pigmented. I like this shade a lot. The next shade beside it is called Seas. Seas is a burnt orange satin shade and it's semi-opaque. It's not really that opaque. The other shade is called Calavera. It's a yellow buttercup matte shade with slight shimmer. The next shade be beside that is called Hatter and this happens to be a shade that came out in the Alice in the Wonderland palette that came out before this. So it's a re-promoted shade. It's a grass green matte shade with, sh with slight glitter. So it's really opaque. This one's actually pigmented. The other one beside it is called Blindside. Blindside is a hot turquoise blue matte shade and it's pretty pretty darn pigmented. I like this one a lot. And then the next shade beside that is called Sketch. Sketch is a grape colored purple satin shade and it's semi opaque. The next shade beside Sketch, which is the last shade on the road, row, it's called Ice. It's a silvery white glitter shade. This one is, I would say, sheer to semi opaque because it's mainly a chunks of glitter. It's not really that much of pigment to it, to be honest. Um, now we're gonna move on to the last row. The last row right here we have Paranoria. It's a light pink with purple shift shimmer and it's semi-opaque in my own opinion. It's not that pigmented but it's not. Uh, when I say semi-opaque, I mean that it's pigmented but it could be more pigmented. That's what I mean. And then when we move on to the next shade, that one is called Jones. It's an orange shimmer shade and it's pretty darn sheer. Like I was really disappointed because I thought this would be so metallic but it wasn't at all. The next shade beside that is Gold Mine, another shade that actually was so disappointing. It's not sheer at all. It's a really flaky shade. So this kind of shade would uh, do some use with Flix Fix Plus to kind of get it to be pigmented. The next shade beside that is Mean. Mean is a lime green shimmer shade. And then the next shade beside Mean is called Meta Metamorphosis. It's a blue matte shade and it's semi-opaque. Actually, I would say this shade is pretty opaque. I won't say it's semi. It actually shows up really well. And then the next shade beside that is called Faded. It's a lavender matte shade with gold sparkles. This one was another disappointing dud in this palette. I really didn't like this shade at all. I wanted it to work because of course I love my purples but it just didn't do it for me. And the last shade which was so surprising is called Bump. It's a matte white shade and it's super darn pigmented. It really shows up on my dark skin. So this was a shade that actually will work on everybody and this palette does come with a double-ended brush right here as you guys can see um it's a like a kind of small eyeshadow brush and then it comes with a fluffy crease brush i didn't use the brush for this look at all because i was just like in the mood doing my eye so i'm gonna sh go show you what i have on my lid okay right now on my lid i actually have what do i have on my lid i have jones is that jones yeah i have jones on my lid i actually have to pack it on really well and i didn't use a base on my lid i just used concealer so i could think that maybe if i use a base next time it will show up more but i used concealer all of my lid and and I used it as a base for my look. And then on the inner corners, I have gold mine right here, this gold shade. And then I also have in the crease, I have Minx, that beautiful dark blue shade that I love. And then um, I have on this part of the lid, I have Midnight, is that Midnight Blaze? No, it's actually not Midnight, it's Gossip. I have Gossip right here, like right in between, um, the orange Jones and I have that gossip right there and then on the crease as my transition shade actually I use C's that burnt orange as a transition color and then I picked up sketch as a secondary transition color and pretty much worked out really really well so um what other colors did I use I use alchemy too I mix sketch I mixed um gossip and alchemy together 
to kind of get like a little dimension so that when I put in my darker colors it looks really nice so this palette pretty much just by looking at it like we have about seven mattes in this palette even though some of the mattes look shimmery they're like really mattes because they have like a matte setting of powder and then they have little sparks of glitter so to me that's a matte shade and pretty much as you guys can see on my lid they do show up but uh, some of the colors that I did mention were opaque are the colors that took much building for me um gossip when I put it on the lid as a uh, no C's I mean when I put it on the lid as a transition color it was pretty much um it took me building to get that color to be vibrant for my transition color and afterwards of applying all the eyeshadow I still went back and reapplied it to make sure that it was showing as you guys know I'm always a hundred with you guys I always tell you the dealio I, I don't care if a company sends me stuff and I know the company that I'm working with don't expect me to make up anything if something is not 100% I will tell you and I will give you the truth I don't think this palette is really worth the $55 the last palette they came out with I thoroughly enjoyed this I love this palette to death and that was before I even started getting stuff from them um, I brought this for my own money and I love this palette I it's amazing it's there is no dark shade in this palette I really really love this one but this one I felt like there were so many shades that could have been worked better and I know Urban Decay is better than this all their palettes I've had so far have been amazing this palette was like the only disappointment I've ever seen and I know that when they come up with another palette they're gonna look at this feedback and bring out something more better and spectacular this pad wasn't it for me um, if I was to rate it and even give it a like a fair rating I'll give it a five and a five for a high-end palette is to other people not worth it because you know there are other pads out there that are way less cheaper and they're way better quality some to me some of the eyeshadows were patchy some of them were flaky some of them were a little dry I I didn't feel that Urban Decay, Urban Decay quality in this pot and I'm not bashing anybody it's just that it could have been a mistake in formulation and I know they will fix that next time so um, if you guys like this review and you enjoyed this review and everything let me know what's up if you are going to still get the pot or you're going to go to the store and check it out Make sure you check it out at the 26th of October. Go to Sephora or I think Alta probably would have it. I don't know if Alta is getting it, but I would say go to those stores and actually swatch the colors and tell me what your opinions are. Just come back to the video and leave a comment. Tell me your opinion about what you felt with the pad, if the pad is like worth it to you in your sense if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe if you're watching for the first time and you want to follow me on my social media i will always have all my social media links down below i am on twitter instagram facebook snapchat blah blah yeah that's it so thank you guys so much for your love and support i love you guys and i'll see you in another video bye